Hey there, this is Alex Profile with Zeta Sky. In this training video, I will be showing you how you can access data in Teams, SharePoint, and through OneDrive, and it will be the same file. I'm gonna start with Teams, and as you can see, I'm currently in the Demo Team, General Channel, on the Files tab, and there's no files here right now. I can go ahead and hit Refresh here, and as you can see, there's nothing here, nothing up my sleeve, no tricks. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and create a new Word document. I'm gonna call it test doc. It's gonna create that file and open it up. And once it opens, you'll see that it's just a blank file. I'm gonna go ahead and add some text to this. This was created in Teams. So now there's some text. So when you're opening up a file in Teams, it automatically saves. I'm gonna go ahead and close it. And now you can see that there is a file here called test doc. This is the file that I just created. Now, once this file is here, because I've already synced the demo general files through OneDrive, it's going to sync to my computer and I'll be able to see it within File Explorer. So if I go ahead and minimize Teams here, I'm gonna open up File Explorer, and I'm going to go to my organization OneDrive section. Uh, it's, it's stored in a team, and Teams data goes to the organization section. This section is for my individual files, but this is for company-wide files or Teams-wide files. And as you can see, there's a demo team general channel folder here and there's test document so i'm going to go ahead and open it up and you can see this was created in teams i'm going to add another line here this was typed in word through file explorer and onedrive now, since this file is syncing using OneDrive, it has an autosave feature because it's flipped on here, and you can see the status here. But I can also just hit the Save button to manually save it, and then close the file. Now, once I do that, OneDrive will sync the changes back to Teams. If I go to Teams here, the file's here. I can hit Refresh and see that the File should still be here. Can open it up. And you can see the new line. This was typed in Word through File Explorer and OneDrive. So it is the same exact file, and I've edited it two different ways. Now let's say for some reason I need to access this file in SharePoint. Well, I can log into portal.office.com and go to SharePoint like I normally would. To save some time, I've already opened up the demo team site, and I'm in the document section here. And you can see two folders. These are for the two different channels, the example channel and the general channel. The file stored in the general channel, so I'm gonna go here, and you can see test doc. I can open it up. I see both the lines. So now I can edit this once it loads. This was typed in SharePoint. And this is much like Teams where it automatically saves. It's using the, the same web-based version of Word. And you can see up here where it tells me it's been saved. I can go ahead and close it. And that will sync to Teams and OneDrive. And I'll be able to access that same file in all three places. So this gives me flexibility of accessing documents depending on my need at the time or where I may be or on any other number of factors that, that may matter for this specific data. That's pretty much everything. If you have any questions, please let us know.